welcome back to my little channel yeah you know what i got the forest out because this is a little bit about the environment but maybe i need to change the background maybe yeah i should change it i should change it to this because basically it's going to be about these two people not so much about these two people but what they claim to stand for and what is it they claim to stand for well the world only has x amount more years and if we don't do x people will die and blah 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 i know i know they are very serious and they really believe it as well but are they right well that's the funny thing i mean there isn't a scientist out there who can recognize what these people are saying now this is from an article on the daily wire i think i think it's the daily wire let's go back to the top yeah daily wire there we go and on this article from the daily wire michael d schellenberger president of the environment progress ripped the far left extreme rhetoric parroted by the fringe activists greta thunberg and socialist republican alexandria ocasio cortez because apparently the things they are saying are so incredibly stupid they they shouldn't even be taken serious i also care about getting the facts and science right according to mr schellenberg there we go there we go just the whole of it why not I care about getting the facts and science right. I believe that scientists, journalists and advocates have an obligation to represent the climate science accurately, even if doing so reduces the saliency of our concerns. No credible scientific body has claimed climate change threatens the collapse of civilizations, much less the extinction of the human species. And yet, some activists, scientists, and journalists make such apocalyptic assertions, which I believe contribute to a rising level of anxiety, including among adolescents and worsening political polarization. Well, who'd have thunk? Keep telling the world that it's going to end, even though you have absolutely zero proof for it, and it creates anxiety in our youth, but it also creates a situation where people stop believing the scientists. Yeah, I think, I think we all saw this coming. While climate change may, may make some natural disasters more frequent and extreme, the death toll from extreme events could and should continue to decline as it did over the last century by more than 90 percent even as the global population quadrupled does that mean we shouldn't worry about climate change no of course not policymakers routinely take action on non-apocalyptic problems and the risk of crossing unknown tipping points rises with higher temperature so yeah it's possible but there's a difference between something being possible or something being sure it's um here we go again thanks in part to decades of public and private investments in fracking natural gas is today cheap and abundant and thus needs little in terms of new public policy solar and wind energy are popular but their inherent unreliability large land use requirements and large material requirements mean they make electricity expensive have a large environmental impact and are inherently limited in their capacity to replace fossil fuels why can't we say these things why does it take an american to say these things i mean yes we noticed that Trump had enough of the Paris Accord and well yeah sure but um, I don't think Schellenberger is the only one who notices this 
and yet still we are being told that this is um, this is how it's going to be I'm going to stop sharing the article by the way I mean you can read it if you want links will be provided obviously but what is it that makes these two believable because none of the things they are saying are true and we know none of the things they are saying are true but people still believe them i mean let's be honest a bartender and a high school dropout and they know more than scientists they can't even explain to you how the carbon cycle works hence the idea that co2 is such a big deal Never mind the fact that CO2 is the one thing that makes your plants grow better. I mean, I keep saying the first thing greenhouse farmers do is add CO2 to the greenhouse. They want to have it at around a thousand parts per million. Why? Because they need less water and plants grow better. This is not rocket science. Well, that's biology obviously but still I mean this isn't unknown so why do we keep listening to these doomsayers I mean there hasn't been a mass extinction event I mean I can't name one animal that has gone extinct in the last 10 years or last hundred years to be honest but they keep telling us that so many creatures have gone extinct and humans are next now I know for example that Bees are troubled. They have an issue. They, they, they seem to be having survivability issues. But we don't really know why. It's probably because of the, 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 the um, poisons that are being used to curtail free bee populations. It, it could be, but we don't know for sure. Is that an issue? Yeah, sure. There are people thinking about how they can solve it. But to pretend that is because of climate change and oh, the world's going to end. How can anyone take these persons serious? And I feel sorry for Greta Thunberg. I mean, she's a child. She knows no better. But I mean, not too long ago, it was quite clear that her Facebook posts were made by her father and some dude from the United Nations. She doesn't even make her own posts. She's not allowed to think for herself. I feel sorry for this child. But okay, uh, occasional cortex, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't understand that people voted her in, but then again, I assume she's going to be voted out soon because, let's be honest, she destroyed her own district by making sure that jobs would not come into the district. And yeah, you can be in favor or you can go against big money yeah sure but telling people that they don't need a job <laughs> that's uh, amazing but then again I mean she only won her spot because about 16,000 people voted for her and let's be honest she didn't have a track record she has one now so I'm, I'm really curious to see if she returns to the house um, personally, I hope not, but I'm not American, so it's not up to me. Anyway, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I look forward to hear what you think, and I hope to see you all next time.